Chris Brazelton was arrested after a crash while driving students home Monday. Court documents show this was not his first offense. WAFF 48's Matthew King has been digging deeper into Brazelton's history. Matthew, what were you able to find out tonight? Yeah, well, documents show us Brazelton has had five traffic related violations years before being hired by the school district, including reckless driving and driving without a seatbelt on. Now, on Monday, he was also ticketed for driving without or with an expired license. For Madison County parents, they're thinking about what could have happened when Chris Brazelton crashed a school bus Monday afternoon. The bus driver was acting funny, um, kind of slurred speech and just um, driving erratically. When nearby parents found their child's bus, it was several feet off the road, sparking several reactions. I don't know what happened. I don't know how he ended up like in the field. I asked them, well, why would you drop the bus like this? And we went back and forth for a minute and his um, one response was, F those kids. Okay. <laughs> but this isn't the first time Brazelton has run into trouble for his driving. He's pled guilty to four safety belt charges in the last decade and a reckless driving charge in 1996. A representative with the Madison County School System says all employees receive state-run background checks when they're hired, with bus drivers driving records in the forefront. In order for a bus driver to transport children, they have to have a commercial driver's license. A spokesperson says their records show Brazelton's CDL doesn't expire until 2026, but he was arrested for an expired license. His employment status remains up in the air. Now, Brazelton took to social media to refute his recent DUI arrest. He says, quote, I was not drunk or high. My blood sugar went nuts, end quote. He's expected in court for his DUI arrest in November. Margo.